Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and a question that came uh, through the weekend about the activation of Windows 11. Um, first of all, if it's not activated, what do you need to do to activate it? And the other question that came also is, can I go from home to pro and pro to home just with activation keys? So to know if your Windows 11 is activated, first of all, all you have to do is go into your settings. In the settings, you will type in the search activation and you'll see activation setting. You just go to activation settings. Here you'll see the state of the activation. It says active. That's fine. If it's not activated, then you'll be offered to try to activate it again. So if it's just because it didn't activate for some reason, maybe you didn't have access to internet, press the activate now button and wait for it to respond and tell you what's happening. If it still doesn't activate, either there's a missing key, it's gonna ask you for a key, or um, it, there could be a problem with the way that things happen. Depending on how Windows 11 was installed, you might need to buy a new key. So um, if you have a key, if you buy a new key, how do you actually activate it? After that, can you change from versions? Well, you have the change product key just below the activation state. What you'll do is click change and you'll enter the product key. Now it's very important to follow a rule. If your computer was activated with a home version, you'll need a home version product key to activate it. Uh, again, if not, you will need to purchase a key. If your computer is uh, with a home version, you want to go to a pro version, then what you could do is once again, click the change button, enter the pro product key, and this will change the state of your Windows 11 from home to pro. What it will do is ask you to restart because it will install and activate some of the features that are uh, non-existent in the home version. Now, for the other way around, as uh, was asked from pro to home, uh, first of all, there's no reason for anybody to do that. Um, just saying. But if you do want to do that, uh, it requires a complete reinstall of Windows. At that time, you will have to reinstall Windows and have a home valid home product key to uh, activate. Uh, but like I said, there's really no reason. Uh, is there a reason to move from home to pro? It depends who you are because there isn't that much difference. People tend to go to the pro, oh, it's the best. Well, it's, there's not a lot of difference. It's not really a big change. It's just it has features that home doesn't have. BitLocker, for example, or the uh, group policy editor that's not available in the home version. But if you don't use any of that, you don't really need uh, to go to the uh, pro version. It's not more stable than the home version. It's actually the same code underneath. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.